One of the most difficult things to deal with when you're working from home, believe it or not, is stress. Now, stress is always internally generated. I know we perceive it to be from external conditions, but essentially it is the way we handle those external conditions that actually allows us to handle stress. In a workplace environment, when, we, when we're surrounded by other people, uh, there are different ways where we handle stress because the structure around us is there to a little bit help us become as efficient as possible. When we're at home and we're alone, usually we don't have that luxury, which means that the potential for us to feel uh, getting wound up tighter and tighter and tighter is always there. And then, you know, it becomes a self-defeating spiral. Luckily, there's a way to break out of this, and I know it's going to sound totally crazy. What you do <laughs> is actually talk to yourself. And I know this sounds weird, and you say, well, the stress is getting to you. Actually, it doesn't. In psychology, we call this a distancing effect. And from a neuroscientific point of view, essentially what happens is within our brain, we split into two different perspectives and two different points of view. And those points of view begin to actually create a counterbalance to what we feel. And that allows us to handle the pressure, which immediately eases the stress. For those of you who like the Matrix series, the very first one, when, uh, when Trinity is uh, being chased down by an agent and she knows that she cannot outrun him and she cannot outgun him, she's at the bottom of the stairs, already scared and injured, and she says to herself, get up, Trinity. And essentially, and I'm doing the voice a little bit, <laughs> essentially, um, that is the distancing effect. It immediately, immediately calms us down, and what it does, it allows resources in the brain to be allocated differently, so we can actually see um, possible avenues and options which we couldn't see before because we're just too locked into our stress, which shut down some of the higher executive functions of the brain. I hope this helps. Stay safe.